I love the smell of the 423 in the morning. The accordion crystal doors auto crumple. The driver looks nonplussed. It's not hard to do in sunglasses. The slap of mangy change. Then turn to face the 60 odd eyes, looking everywhere but at you. Where is the heart of the bus? Is it an enjoyable experience uh, waiting for the bus? Always a place of meeting gorgeous young men like yourself. Oh, I think you. Yeah. Is, is it a friendly sort of environment uh, waiting for the bus? It depends on the person. If you want to make friends, you can make them anywhere. So how do you do it, making friends uh, with strangers? I usually start with a really dumb question. There's my bus. Sorry. All right. Go. Okay, there you go. You do, right? Have you been waiting long for the bus? No? Well, I just missed one. You just missed it? Yes, thank you. Oh, what happened? Well, I was looking down there and I thought I don't know whether it's the right number or not, and it was, and it went round the other three buses, and so I'm waiting for the next one now. Oh, okay, but how long have you been waiting for the bus for long? Uh, about 15 minutes. 15 minutes? Yeah. Is, it, is it running late or what's happening? Yeah, it runs very late. All buses seem to be running late all the time. They come like five minutes beforehand or about five minutes after, and they never run on the dot. So this is a blatant disregard for the timetable that yeah, they've exactly, set, yeah. set out? Yeah, exactly. That's true. That's definitely true. How does it make you feel, man? Oh... Annoyed? Do you feel sympathy for the bus drivers or do you think they should do a better a better job? Well, some of the bus drivers are alright. The Western bus drivers are different, like, they, they talk to you and stuff, like, they say hire and stuff like that. These ones are just, you know, it's because it's pretty busy in the city and stuff, so... A lot of people just rush, rush, get on and that's about it. I went to the depot to talk to some drivers nesting and issue them a subpoena on their demeanour. Hi there. Have a moment of your time? No. No. Okay. We interviewed for what? The Triple J's morning show. Oh, oh no. I'm the work experience kid, and I'm just doing. Yeah, uh, oh, like story. Makes <laughs> you don't want help me now. It's very. I'm, I'm friendly. It's not a very uh, hard hitting interview. Well, you ask about your sex life. How many times a week you get it? And that's it. Yeah, easy stuff like that. Huh? How many times a decade it is? <laughs> I'm married. And I'm, I'm, my sort of thing is that my general experience of bus drivers is they're not very friendly. How would you respond to that? We are friendly. We are. Well, I just, I've just I've lived in Canberra for a while. Maybe it's mainly as Canberra drivers, but uh, it probably is Canberra drivers. Yeah. It's the attitude down there. It's too cold. You think that's oh, it? Very much so. Look at us. Look, we're all. Happy. You are actually. Uh, it's just, this is really improving my uh, view of uh, bus drivers. Uh, and what do you think about when you're driving? Six. <laughs> do you ever? The whole having to stop and start, stop and start all the time. Do you ever just wish you could just drive on? Do you get oh, yeah. annoyed with pulling up all the time? Oh, yeah, very much so. I think there'll be a day where you just, uh, maybe on your last day, you just, just keep on driving. No comment. Uh, what, what's your role here? I'm a, sh a shed supervisor. Do you make sure it all runs on time? All runs on time. I dispatch buses. I tell them where to uh, put the defective buses when they come in. Yeah. And... Uh, Keep the ball rolling. So what do you have to say to people that are right now waiting for their bus and getting a bit cranky? It's a different different uh, setup these days. Like when I was driving, uh, the public were very cooperative with, uh, with the bus drivers. But these days, uh, everybody's in a hurry. If they miss one bus, they take it out on the next bus driver. I remember when I was driving, I, I wouldn't talk to my wife for the first 15 or 20 minutes when I get home. I, I, you're that tense, you see? Been in traffic all the time, all, all day. And all you want to do is just get to the fridge, get a beer, sit down and relax for about 10 or 15 minutes before you go, you know, so let yourself go. You know, you're transporting uh, the world's richest tra uh, cargo, you know? Transporting cargo? Uh, the, the world's richest cargo, uh, human beings. Yeah, right. Yeah, yeah. yeah it's not the world's richest cargo. The wheels on the bus go round and round like the emotional pretzel of shy attacks to the next attic of things to do and dreams to spew. Nobody's talking, but their thoughts stalking. What do you find the usual mood on a bus is? Uh, no one really talks very much. It's like pretty state of yourself. That's about it. Do you have any idea why? People are disassociated from themselves. What do you usually think about when you're on the bus? I think about my family, I think about my life, um, things that have happened, things that I wished hadn't happened. It's a good place to think if you're not in a hurry to go anywhere. Uh, what do you usually think about when you're on the bus? Philosophy. 
I'm a counsellor and a psychotherapist. Is it a good place to muse? It is, actually. It's not too bad. It's much better than driving a car for that. Do you think when you, you'll go back to your car when you get it fixed? I'm going to do a bit of both when I, when I get the car fixed, actually. There's going to be times when I take public transport just for um, the relaxation of it. Yeah, right, as a sort of uh, a therapy. A bit of a therapy. I, I find it uh, exciting, terrific. Uh, I see a lot of characters and and being an actor, I, I keep an eye out for some interesting characters. Take a look at that guy over there. He's just staring, you know. Is he thinking of anything? Is he wondering where he is? This lovely, lovely girl, um, freezing cold night, about three o'clock in the morning, and, and she, she was swearing at everyone and everything. But the way she was doing it, she was barefooted. And she just touched me and, and she was so artistic. Even in her swearing, her, her attacks on people just looking at her. And when the, uh, when the police approached, she was such an angel. The people are so artistic. The, the movements and um, their, their looks, their, it's fascinating. That was Justin Hazelwood. Do you think about much when you're on the bus? Still is. Huh? Only cars. Just cars. <laughs> and girls. <laughs> that was, still is Justin. He's still in there. The artist formerly known as the bedroom philosopher, taking us on a journey into the back seats of the humble public bus. You're on Triple J. Here's the kills. Just stand, stand off.